Hi everyone, I'm Mitali and I'm going to be talking about the TikTok Data Engineer interview process. At the end of this video, you should have a good understanding of the process itself, what interviewers look at, and a bunch of tips for each round. A quick intro. I'm from Prepfully and this video has been put together by TikTok Data Engineers who are also interview coaches on Prepfully. They've coached hundreds of candidates through the process and can be booked directly on the website if we need more personalized guidance. Right then, moving on to the interview. A typical TikTok data engineer interview process comprises of four rounds. Initial screening, technical assessments up to four rounds, a behavioral round, case study, and final interview. Let's discuss these in detail. First up is the initial screening where they'll dive deeper into your background qualifications, and interest in the data engineering role. I have three tips for this round. It often starts with the classic, tell me about yourself prompt. Make sure you have a concise but compelling intro ready to roll with. Maybe also include a nugget that helps you stand out and be memorable. Next, they'll pop the prompt, why the data engineer role and why specifically TikTok. Have a crisp and genuine answer ready as to why you are applying there, as well as why you think you would succeed there as a data engineer. Finally, be super familiar with your past work. Make sure you have thoroughly reviewed your resume. So think ahead and pinpoint a couple of relevant stories from your past experience. Talk about your contributions, the impact you created, what you learned, and so on. All right then, after you clear the initial screening, get ready for a technical deep dive. You'll spend about four to five hours solving real world data engineering challenges. There will mainly be three rounds, a technical round one, a technical round two, and a system design round. Let's discuss this in detail. Firstly, technical round one. This typically kicks off with a mix of questions to gauge your skills across different areas. So for instance, you might start with a medium level SQL question where you're asked to write a query to retrieve certain data from a database. Following that, you might tackle an easy Python coding question involving writing a simple script to manipulate data, implement a basic algorithm, or solving a straightforward problem. It's mainly coding based, but sometimes interviewers dive deeper and ask follow up questions. For the second 45 minute technical round, expect to dive deeper into your technical capabilities and explore your past experiences. You likely encounter another coding question and have a discussion about your resume and past projects. The interviewer may ask about specific projects you've worked on, challenges you faced, and the solutions you've implemented. The main focus is on building a database for a new product. That means you'll be getting your hands dirty with tasks like designing data pipelines, running ETL processes, and shaping a solid database architecture. I have two tips for these two rounds. Brush up on your Python and SQL knowledge and be ready for optimizations queries for time and space complexity. Hit up platforms like LeetCode and HackerRank for practice. Next, make sure you are familiar with data modeling techniques. Practice thoroughly on platforms like Stratascratch or Mode Analytics so you're able to demonstrate your hands-on experience in data engineering. Coming to the system design interview. It is a 60 minute round where you'll be presented with an open ended problem to design a system, something like a URL shortening service or a file sharing system. They'll throw a lot of questions at you about architecture, database selection, how you address scalability, trade offs, potential challenges, reliability, and so on. Remember, they're primarily interested in understanding your thought process behind designing a large-scale application. 
Therefore, be sure to vocalize your thinking process and share insights into your design decisions. This goes without saying, practice this round a lot. This isn't something you want to go unprepared into since interviews have a habit of going down tangents you can't anticipate. And it's less the content part of the practice and more the mindset that practicing with coaches can help you get into that is the most valuable part of working with a coach. Prepfully has excellent TikTok data engineers who provide one-on-one -on -one interview coaching. Book a slot with them from the link in the description box. One important point here. There's usually a mini design problem segment here to test your understanding of cross availability zone data transfer and data security. Think cloud architecture and ensuring data stays safe as it moves between zones. And of course, expect a deep dive into Spark. They'll want to know how well you know it, how you've optimized it, and your overall experience with it. All right then. After the technical rounds, you'll face two more rounds, the manager round and a case study interview. The manager round is a 60 minute interview where you dive into your past projects and experiences. Just a heads up, this one is a bit different from the tech stuff. They'll hit you with situational scenarios like challenges you might face on a project and ask how you'd handle them. All they want to do is access how you think on your feet and handle tricky situations. They're looking for qualities like problem solving, leadership, and communication skills. So be ready to share some stories from your past projects that show off all of these skills. Finally, as the last stage of the interview, you'll tackle a case study. You'll typically be presented with a practical data engineering problem or asked to design a data system. For instance, a real-time recommendation system for an e-commerce platform. You'll need to really dig into the problem and understand what they're asking for. Then come up with a solution or multiple solutions and explain why you're making specific design choices and be ready to talk through those trade-offs, reliability, performances, and so on. Then comes the final interview with senior leaders or hiring managers. They'll dig into your fit for the data engineer role at TikTok, ask about your goals, both short-term and long-term, and give you a chance to ask any questions that you may have about the role. It's best to practice these rounds with a TikTok data engineer to get an accurate picture of what these interviews are really like. It would help you brace yourself for what you're up against, what is expected of you, what buzzwords you should hit, and so on. Prepfully has a bunch of data engineers with a ton of experience who can coach you in this regard. Book a one-on-one -on -one mock session with them directly using the link in the description box. Right, that's all from us. Lots of additional helpful resources in the description. Don't forget to check them out. And if you found this video helpful, do like and subscribe. Thanks and good luck. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please subscribe. Our website is prepfully.com. We've got lots of interview questions there. You can also schedule a mock interview with one of our experts. You can find the link in the description below. All the best from us at Prepfully, and we hope you totally rock your interview.